So like with all the other filters, uh, I like to connect the outputs of the RO first. This way, uh, if I plumb in the input first, I don't accidentally turn on the water and uh, ruin the startup procedure. So uh, this procedure applies uh, the same for an EX100, an EX150, or an EX200. All the same unit, just a different membrane. And it's quite simple. This unit does not come with a flush kit. So uh, connection and startup is a lot easier, and we're going to go through it. The first thing I'm going to do is connect the drain line of the RO. And like all Groanix units, the drain line is black. And you can see it come through the auto shutoff valve through the flow restrictor. And on this unit, I'm going to connect it directly to the flow restrictor. That's because there is no flush kit on this unit. Uh, the other end of the drain line is going to go into the drain clamp. And we're going to talk about connecting the drain clamp right now, and it's very simple. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect the drain saddle. Now you can run the drain into a basin, a sink, any kind of drain really. Um, and you could run it outside and water your plants outside with it. Uh, it's good to use this water instead of wasting it. It's just got a little elevated TDS. So if you're not going to feed your prized orchids with it, uh, send it out to the yard and feed the bushes. Uh, to, so we're going to grab a, we're going to pretend this is a pipe underneath a uh, sink, uh, above the trap generally. Uh, these things are sized for inch and a quarter, of course they fit uh, on inch and a half as well. And all we're going to do is drill a quarter inch hole into the side of the pipe. Don't go all the way through and drill through the pipe, that would be a mistake. Uh, and we're going to drill on the top radius of the pipe. We don't want to install the drain saddle upside down, where if it ever loosens up, it'll just drain water on the ground. Uh, so install it on the top radius of the pipe. I got a quarter inch hole. I'm going to take the drain saddle and push the RO tubing about a, eh, about a half an inch through it, like that. And I'm simply going to, oh, I got a step. We're going to put the, we're going to peel back this gasket and stick it over the hole like this. This is going to seal the hole so it doesn't leak any water in case the pipe were to fill up. And just slide the tubing a little too far. And just slide the tubing over the hole uh, where it's lined up. And push the tubing into the hole about a half inch so it's about halfway through the pipe. If you push it too far you could you risk re restricting the flow on the drain tube uh, and then changing the ratio of the system ratio on the RO so make sure it's only about halfway through the pipe and then just tighten the saddle around the pipe and that's it real simple we're just going to run our drain water into the sink here now we're going to hook up the RO or the permeate line and on this unit it's going to hook up right to the auto shutoff valve the ASV. Now the other end of the permeate line uh, can go to a storage tank or a reservoir, a bladder tank, um, a bottle. Uh, if you're going to use it with a float valve, you would just plumb it into a float valve. And now we're going to plumb in the input feed water to this unit. Now we give you, with the unit, a uh, garden hose adapter. And you this is for, you know, we give you this because a lot of people request them. If you're in a pinch and you only have a garden hose, it's a good way to make water on the fly, especially if you're in a greenhouse or ag agricultural environment. I'm not a huge fan of garden hose adapters because they seal with a compression ring, uh, and they don't seal with the threads like NPT pipe. So for a long-term installation, uh, certainly one that's in a house or under a sink or so forth, I would never use a garden hose fitting, but uh, we give them to you, and a lot of people like them, and they're useful. And to use one, I'll just give you a rundown. You simply thread it on to the end of a garden hose, and you take a piece of the 3 8 white tubing that comes in the install kit, right here, and you just take a short piece uh, and connect the garden hose adapter to the input fitting. Now, of course, this could be feet away as well, but that's the rundown on using a garden hose adapter. We are going to plumb it into a three-quarter inch stainless valve, a piece of three-eighths tubing, and we're just going to seat it in the reducing T on the input, like so. Make sure it goes past the O-rings 
and seats into the boss of the fitting and we're in there and this RO is connected uh, and ready for a startup procedure.